Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're going to be looking at add-ons and specifically grid 2. This video is going to be covering some of the most frequently asked questions that I get on a daily basis. Covering things like adding absorbs or shields to your grid 2 profile. Specifically shields that will show up when you're missing HP and shields that will show up when you're max HP. Which means that you will know if there's going to be an AoE mechanic happening that people have shields and they can survive certain mechanics. Very, very, very important and it provides a lot of additional customization. Besides that, I'll cover some of the other tips and tricks specifically about adding buffs and debuffs or buffs that have the same matching names but have different spell IDs and things like that. So let's go and get started. So this is my Paladin right now and absorbs are very, very important because of how Glimmer absorbs works and things like that. So we're going to, again, open up grid 2 options for slash grid 2 in the chat. And you'll see your grid to something similar to this. Again, this is using a specific profile, but if you're using a default grid to profile, you'll be able to do the same thing. So you need to make sure to go again. You'll see general indicators and status. Make sure you go to indicators, the very top most. You don't have to expand this. Just go to the very top most indicator here and you'll see an option to create a new one. We're going to create a new one and we're going to call it absorbs. Make sure to click OK. And then the type is going to be multi-bar that's very very important multi-bar that's the only way this is going to work so absorbs multi-bar location doesn't really matter you can click create and now you'll see absorbs being added on your grid 2 profile so you're going to go into absorbs and you're going to add multiple bars here you can see you have a main bar you have option to add bar add background things like that before you do anything you want to go into layouts and in layouts you don't really want to change anything it doesn't really matter you, you can change the bar height to zero and the most important part here is you're going to tick reverse fill. If you don't do that, it's going to look way off and it's not going to be all that great. So tick reverse fill, make sure it's exactly the same as it is right now. So now in terms of bars, you're going to be adding three different bars. The first bar is going to be the most important. Well, all of them are going to be important, but we're going to add the first thing is going to be health deficit. So you go into statuses, make sure you're in the main bar. Then you go into statuses and you add health deficit so you'll you'll see it here now the health deficit is going to be basically where you're going to anchor your shields and the main important aspect of health deficit is that you're going to be adding so when you're missing hp you want your shield to be anchored to that missing hp and i'll show you i'll show you later on an example of this and why, why it works so we create health deficit the direction is going to be normal we're going to create a custom color and we're basically going to make sure it's going to be invisible we're basically creating health deficit that's going to be somewhat invisible. We just want to anchor to this. So make sure opacity is zero. Make sure everything is very similar to this. Textures doesn't matter, but honestly, the main texture I go with for majority of things is going to be melee. Melee. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. And make sure it's fill fill. That's the only things you need to have. So you have health deficit, and then it's going to be invisible. And then you add a bar for shields. So you click add bar, you get a bar one. And in bar one, you're going to go to shields and you can see them right here. So you can see shields and it's going to anchor to previous bar and it's going to be reversed. That's important. It's not going to work otherwise. And then you're going to change the color to custom color and you're going to change the custom color to whatever you like. I like to have it somewhat bluish. Make sure that this arrow goes to that bluish color because by default it's going to be the darkest version of that and it's just going to be black and... If your background is black, you're not going to even see the shields at all. So very important. Make sure you go to the color that you want. Again, light bluish for me. And I click OK. I also like to change the opacity to something else. So you can actually see the background color in terms of deficit and things like that. So I like to go to 0 0.5 or 0 0.6, 0 0.7. It really depends. So the main thing, you create a bar one. You assign shields to it. And you create, a, you make sure it's previous bar in reverse. And what does that do right now? And again, you can change your texture to whatever you want. It's going to be stretch, stretch. So what does that exactly do? All it basically does is that if you're losing HP, and we're going to showcase it here. So we're going to go to this upper ground here. If you have absorbs, it's not going to show up right now. You can see here, I already have absorbs here. I already have overflowing light, but it's not showing up. But if you're missing HP, it's going to showcase the absorbs to the health deficit. So you can see the little blue uh, arrow or the blue text right there. That's what we did right now. We have absorbs, but they only show up when you're missing HP. So what do we need to do? We need to make sure we add absorbs when you're max HP. So we go back to grid 2. Again, forward slash grid 2. We go back to the absorbs indicator. 
and we can see our bars here main bar bar one we want to add an additional bar so you click add bar or you can click it here as well add bar it's going to add bar two and in here you're going to add shield overflow so you can see here shield overflow we're going to make sure this is very important it's going to go or anchor to the topmost bar you're going to anchor it here this is important if you don't do it it's not going to work properly so bar two shield overflow topmost bar you can add a custom color again i like to keep it the same color that it was before so it looks somewhat similar you can copy in order to do that you can go back to bar one you can go to the color here you can control c the the code here go back to bar two go to the color again custom color click on the color and control v to paste the code so now you have the same color and it changed to the same opacity which was I honestly can't remember now. It was a 0.5 or 0.6. Let me see. Bar 1 was 0.5. So now what we have in the bar 2, we have shield overflow. We have topmost bar for the anchor. We have custom color. We have the same opacity. And we have the same color. We have the same texture. And we have stretch, stretch. And that is basically it. So what's happening right now is that if you have absorbs, they're going to showcase as an overflow type of bar. You can see here, I'm adding uh, glimmers. I'm adding absorbs. You can see the bar, the light blue bar. I have this much absorb and what happens if i lose hp we're gonna go here again just to showcase it we're gonna jump off from this just to show how much missing hp we'll have again we'll get some of the absorbs from actually dragon flying uh, talents as well so we have a little bit of absorb here and then we're gonna jump down and it's gonna anchor to the health deficit so you can see clearly if you're if you're missing hp and if you still have an absorb or if you're full hp and if and if you have some sort of absorb to prevent you from dying from a certain next possibility or something along those lines so that is how you add shields and you can do that for all the classes again there are multiple ways to do this i'm not saying this is the best way to do it there are actually multiple ways of adding absorbs to grid 2 and having a similar look and feel but this is the way that works for me and now lastly i'm going to showcase how to add things with the same name but different spell ids on grid 2 because it can cause an issues and the main example of this is going to be reversion you can see here i have reversion right now which again you can have this hot on yourself but if you use echo and then use reversion you can have multiple instances of this buff but they all have different spell id how do you add that on grid 2 and this can work for multiple other abilities that have the same name but different spell ids but the reversion for preservation of ogres is the best example so again we open up our grid 2 options for slash grid 2 and you'll see again general indicators and statuses and in this case we're going to talk about statuses because this is how you add new buffs and debuffs and this is how if you want to track for example holy Paladin, and glimmer of light and things like that you just find spell id of that spell and you add it under buffs and debuffs in this case we're going to be adding reversion which is a buff so you go under the buff section and you can see here you can add a type you can add this name or spell id and this is where the interesting part is going to be so first of all we're going to add reversion and just a default reversion we're going to click on our frames and you can see here reversion is added here the spell id is 366155 three six six one five five and you can see here it adds reversion straight away that's perfect we just need this we click on that we click on show if mine because we only want to track our version we don't want to track a version from a uh, reversion from other preservation of focus and we click create and this is where the problems start to begin because if you press echo and if you press reversion it's going to have two instances of reversion you can see at top right hand corner the same name but different spell ids so when you want to add the spell ID of the new reversion that is different in this ID is seven, uh, sorry, three, uh, three, six, seven, three, six, four. You can see here a reversion and you want to try and add it. And the create button is kind of blanked out because you can see under buffs, again, statuses, buffs and expand this. You can see we already created reversion. So we can't create the same buff with the same name, but there's a different naming ways or go, uh, ways to eliminate this issue that grid 2 has and we'll talk about this but you first of all you might be like how do you see the spell idea of uh, buffs and things like that i am using LVI and you can use multiple tooltip add-ons to show spell id because it will simplify a lot of this customization you can use wowhead uh, database as well to see the spell id there's multiple ways to do this the default game might not have this option but we're gonna add a second version of reversion so what you need to do is you will create a name and this is in our example it's going to be we're going to call it we're going to call it echo because this is the echoed reversion and if you're playing preservation of Oka, you know exactly what i mean echo hashtag 
And then we're going to copy and paste the spell ID of the echo version that I just showed you. Again, I have it copied and pasted. It's going to be 367364. And you can click on this. And now you can see echo hashtag reversion, show if mine and create. And now you can see it under here. Again, under statuses, buffs, expand buffs. And you can see here reversion mine and you can see echo reversion. What you need to do, you need to go into reversion mine. Make sure you go into general and click track by spell ID. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then you go into echo reversion that we just created here. And you click on track by spell ID again. And now I'm assuming you already know how to create indicators and how to place the indicators. I'm going to place the echo reversion and indicator that I did previously. And again, this is going to be icon center top. You probably won't see this. This probably won't matter because you probably will have different type of indicators. So keep that in mind. You're probably going to see a completely different screen. This is just with my personal profile. And for reversion, I'm going to go into indicators and it's going to be icon uh, left. So if you can see it here. So now what we did is that if we press reversion, it's just going to show up top left. And if we go echo and then we click reversion, it's going to showcase two reversions even though they're the same name but different spell ID. And you can use this tip and trick. And if you want to showcase the little numbers that I can see here, eight, six, five, you need to have another add-on. And this is another section of the video. You need to have another add-on called OmniCC. So make sure you forward slash OmniCC, you install this add-on. And what this is going to do is going to allow you to see cooldowns on grid two. And if you don't see cooldowns, you need to go to the default section and you need to change the minimum cooldown size. So right now you can see the cooldown for this, but if I change this to like 50, you can't see it anymore. It basically determines how big the icon has to be to show a cooldown for it. So it needs to be something, it needs to be something like 30, 20 or something along those lines in order to show the cooldown for all the abilities from Grid 2. So if you're installing Grid 2, you need to have Omni CC and you need to have add-ons like click to add mouse over keybinds. Let me know how you feel about this video. We Again, I showcased how to add absorbs, which can be very, very useful, especially for absorb classes like this increase or classes that have multiple ways of adding absorbs. And I showed you how to add multiple or add the same ability with the same name that has multiple different spell IDs, specifically reversion. Let me know how you feel about this video. Let me know if I missed out on something or any tips and tricks that you have that you found really, really useful when dealing with grid 2 add-on. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.